or player? How much does it cost? Where is it coming from? See, football is universal. If you are good at it, you are good at it. All this disrespect and this turning your nose and feeling you as nice like too good for some certain players, like it is the new generation of fans, it's just laughable how they just degrade certain leagues. Now, even though you call the uh the French the farmers league, most of the time we uh English play uh the English membership go there and bring in some top players. Look at uh, Bruno Gimenez for uh, for Newcastle. He's from the Farmers League, the French league. I look at aside from the top, uh, the top four, uh, top six. Yeah, he is a midfielder that can play for any of the top six. He can work, in my opinion. He can compete for the midfield of Man City. Bruno Gimenez can play for Arsenal. Can play for Spurs. He can play for uh, Manchester United. He can play for Liverpool. But he came from the farmers league, so this nonsense of or oh, setting players coming from setting league. Yeah, don't... Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. If you like this content, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Make sure you stick a like on the video. Very very important for the algorithm, and do not forget to turn on the notification bell so that when I drop videos pre-recorded or live, you can actually get notified. And make sure you enjoy the content and like and stick a like on it. Very very important. So let's discuss this one that we're going around regarding us now for the past few few days, I won't say weeks, past few days. Uh, there's a rumor of the Orlando, give me a minute, of the Orlando, Orlando City player in the MLS, uh, Fecundo Torres. He has been linked to us now. We are hearing rumors that are, seem to have some legs to it that uh, his agents are uh, traveling to London to seal a deal uh, with us now. My thoughts, uh, I've watched a few of the YouTube clips. I don't know him a lot, even though I saw him play well against us. I remember during the preseason when we played Orlando City, he was the guy that scored the, the solitary goal against us. Now he looked very bright, he was actually some kind of a menace. And I looked at him like, Yeah, even though some of you do not read, read the MLS, there are a few players that have come from M MLS that are playing well. The lead guy, uh, what's his name? Uh, Aaron, uh, is he Aaron Saint? I've forgotten the name. He plays for Leeds, is doing well. Amaron for Newcastle. Fantastic player. I get it. Some of you might turn your nose at ah, getting players from MLS for Arsenal is not impressive on paper. But guess what? If the players are good enough, they are good enough. It doesn't mean I don't care what league you are coming from. I don't care the price tag. This new disrespect and disdain and turn your nose or oh, player, how much does it cost? Where is it coming from? See, football is universal. If you are good at it, you are good at it. All this disrespect and this turning your nose and feeling you as nice too good for some certain players, like it is it, the new generation of fans, it's just laughable how they just degrade certain leagues. Now, even though you call the uh the French the farmers league, most of the time we uh English play uh the English membership go there and bring in some top players. Look at uh, Bruno Gimenez for uh, for Newcastle. He's from the Farmers League, the French league. I look at aside from the top, uh, the top four, uh, top six. Yeah, he is a midfielder that can play for any of the top six. He can work, in my opinion. He can compete for the midfield of Man City. Bruno Gimenez can play for Arsenal. Can play for Spurs. He can play for uh, Manchester United. He can play for Liverpool. But he came from the farmers league. So this nonsense of oh, setting players coming from setting league, they're not good enough. I'm not saying all the time, but there are some gems that, that can be unearthed or uncovered from setting leagues that you consider very inferior or farmers league. Let's not forget, we have a player we loaned out to Birmingham City uh, playing in, in Champions League, and he's doing fantastic, he's doing well. Trusty, the national player playing fantastic really well uh in the championship let's not let me let, let's let's take it back a little bit do you remember robertson where did liverpool buy uh, robertson from from hall city from the championship do you remember jimmy one out liverpool bought him from newcastle when they were relegated to the championship so this nonsense of you can only get quality players when you buy them very expensive or when you buy them from barcelona or madrid or certain high status club is absolutely a fallacy. Good players can be found anywhere. You can unearth good gems from any league. 
Now, I'm not saying you shouldn't be suspicious of certain league, but regardless, give these players a chance. Like, stop it. Especially when I'm going to play with better players, they could flourish. Now, I'm not saying for sure uh, Fecundo Torres is going to be a world beater. I've seen a bit of him. I think we should give him a chance. People say, oh, he's just going to be uh, a player with bias to set on loan. He's 22. He's playing well. Look at his record this season. Uh, let me look at it real quick. He has played say three, they admit they three appearances for Orlando, Orlando City this season. Scoring nine goals. Not a really bad, not a very impressive return, but not a bad return. Let's not forget if he comes to play with better players, the return could be higher. So let's stop it. We bought Pepe for 72 million pounds. What did he do? So it's not by the price tag all the time. It's the quality of the player and the quality of team the player is playing in. Now, I'm not saying we should go and buy market players for you can actually if you have the money, go and buy market players, you can afford them. But turn your nose on what you call players that, that might not be playing for big clubs or that are that their, their clouds are not that big and you think they can't do it is absolutely insane. As in it's it's it is a dumbest thing to think that you can't on F James from the rough. You can actually do that. Players like uh Rufinha, where did they come from for the win to lead? Like, let's stop this nonsense. You can unearth good players from any league. Amaron came from the MLS. He's doing well. Even our backup keeper, a lot of people were turning your nose until you saw his performances in the last two games in Europa League and saw it was fantastic. So, can we give these players a chance? Now, I'm not saying Arsenal is for sure going to sign this player, but the rumours are looking like it's very likely Arsenal is going to sign Fecundo Torres from Orlando City in the MLS. Like, I'm, I'm going to give him a chance. Like, I've seen... It's all, some of these clips. You guys go and check it out and see it, and leave a comment section. What do you think? For me, I'm going to give him a chance. He looks like a player. He plays in a profile of Saka, in my opinion, but he shoots more, which is fantastic. He likes to shoot. He wants to score. And I like that. And when he plays the likes of Jesus, I uh, have other guy in the midfield, Patty in the midfield. I think his goal ratio will improve. What do you guys think? Leave a comment section. Do you think... Uh, Fecundo Torres will, will be signed for Arsenal. And if he's signed, do you think uh, he can actually raise the levels? Let me know. Let me know in the comment section what do you think about Fecundo Torres. I am saying I would give him a chance. Like, we bought the likes of Pepe for 72 million and they, they did absolutely nothing. And the likes of Fecundo Torres can come in and actually explode and become the next big thing. Like I said, look at Amaron at Newcastle. He came from the MLS and he's doing fantastically well. Look at Aronson from uh, Leeds. From the MLS and he's doing well. So this habit of turning your nose on other leagues that are similarly inferior, but individual players, even though they are play for lower leagues, can be fantastic. So I'm willing to give uh Fecundo Torres a chance, and I'm hoping Asna can tie him that we need a competition for Saka. We need somebody uh, uh on the on the on the right wing playing cutting across from his left. And uh, is for me is the right profile of player we need. I don't care about names all the time. I don't care about price tag. All I care is quality and what this place can add to the team. And I'm looking at him, the way I'm more watching. I could be wrong. Like I said, you guys, let me know your opinion on him. Leave in the comment section. I could be wrong, but what I'm saying, I think he can do he can do better than what he's doing at Orlando City with the better players and better management around him. I saw him against Arsenal during the preseason. I was very impressed, and I'm not shocked that Arsenal are linked with him. So leave in the comment section your thoughts on Fecundo Torres. Do not forget to stick a like on this video, subscribe to the channel if you like the content, and make sure you turn the bell, and I'll see you guys on the next one.